Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Dinner Craft. We are currently at the base here and I have some shulker boxes sitting behind me. Left kind of a mess out here. And one of them is filled with sand along with a bunch of sand in my inventory. And this one is that gravel we collected from the nether the other day because guess what? There's more base to be built and that means more concrete. Yay! But while I'm working on making all of that concrete, I am going to send you guys over to some footage I recorded with some of the other diners the other day. We have been working on a Christmas area for the server, which is not going to be as fancy as the Halloween area, I don't think, but it still looks pretty cool. And while we're on the topic of Christmas, look at my sweater. Check, uh, also known as Nathan, made these sweaters for all of us, and a bunch of us, we just took the design and we recolored it. So the red and green was kind of the original color, and I've kind of made mine light blue and purple. I don't know, I like it. So yeah, let me show you the footage from the Christmas area. I see you. <laughs> I see somebody else. I see that. I see Lee. I am appointing myself arm maker. Arm maker. <laughs> maker of the arms. Let's to make, make our poor arm. sad snowman happy again. Do we want the face to be facing this way or do we want the face to be facing the front? I think the front. That would probably make the most sense. So I will put the arms appropriately. <laughs> Do you like my arm? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I just fell. Okay. Ow. It looks like one of those claws. Like it's just going to whamp. Yeah. Um, it's a stick with a little you. fork for the fingers. It does look very derpy. <laughs> But here, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna climb up the scaffolding. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to grab me. <laughs> he doesn't even have a so face. <laughs> it looks like really disturbing because it has no face. It's like a nightmare before Christmas kind of deal. <laughs> the only face it has are these two little dirt cubes on the back. <laughs> we were gonna put no, the... come here. No, come, come on this side. It okay. looks like it's got okay. tiny little eyes and a little <laughs> arm. It's the best. <laughs> Oh god, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it, could not, it could not be unseen. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no. What have we done? Science has gone too far. Why is this oh, so phantoms. derpy? It's awesome though, I'm keeping it. It's the best. Leave it. I love I love the derp. Alright, let's do the other side. It's a good yes. thing you guys got my expert building skills on this case. I don't know what yes. you'd do without me. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> I just thought, make a cookies and milk dispenser. <gasps> That's amazing. Yes. No, 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 no. We should put it along the path that keeps getting snowed over. So that when people are on their way to and from places, it's like a little stand. What I really need to do is go to a jungle so I can get cocoa beans. Oh. Well, you need cocoa beans to make cookies. Oh, that's true. There oh, they are. Look at our beautiful beans. cows. <gasps> There's a rabbit. Save it. It's the white and black one. Save the bunny. I don't know how you're going to save it. Um, we have a slight problem in that I did not have enough scaffolding to get up to the face to make the nose. Since it's only two, uh, there's a two wide gap on the smile. <laughs> uh, are, are we can't really put a nose because there's not a center block. Are we calling that it? Like, is that our finished snowman? Wow, look at all this that we accomplished, you two. Wow, this is amazing art right here. This is like pinnacle I, Minecraft. I, right? I'm probably going to run to Sev's base and grab some black and brown wool and give him a top hat. Yes, he needs a top hat and he needs like coal or wool buttons on his whatever front. Because that's like a thing Ooh. too. Maybe we can put a fork and a knife in its arms. Hands. There you go. I feel I mean, like the nose has to go here. It actually looks okay. Yes. That's good. Yeah, we did. Look at us. We actually can build things and stuff. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we want to work on next? The the milk and cookie dispenser? Yes. Or? And a little cow enclosure. Like, I don't know. Like, why, Max? Why? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I really like that tree. I feel like I need to fly over there and take a peek. The scale, too, is just incredible. Oop, I fell off it. I Oops. ran into the tip. I did not die. There we go. I can see blocks being placed, but I cannot see the player placing the blocks. 
Interesting. Ah, I fell again. What? You're putting them on bricks? I don't know, because it looks pretty together with the spruce. Wow. It's okay. These poor cows. It's okay, cows. You may have uncomfortable feet, but you're going to look beautiful in there. I don't know how to build a dispenser for milk and cookies. I'm just going to put that out there right now because I don't know redstone. Use um, okay. use gates instead of posts so they don't connect. Where is the, uh, the so dispenser okay. for the cookies? Your spoons, it's here. <laughs> oh. I always get those ideas like, ah, ah, when it's too late. It's just now it's a big spider and the portal on the other side. Ah. What just happened? <laughs> I went through the portal and just started taking damage and I was already damaged from flying into the wall. Oh, <laughs> it was man. just a giant spider jumping at me. There we go. Do you think this is enough cookies for now? Let me look. I, I feel like that's a good amount of cookie-age. But don't yeah. we have to get milk in there too? Or no, we leave, they're getting the milk from the cows direct. Yes. Okay. So we should we put like a We need to like, like barrel... put a stand here, like milk and cookies. Yeah, so like we could put like a barrel so that they can get like a bucket to get milk from the cow. If you break the slab, I'll place the bucket real fast. Okay. Or Ready? Barrel. Three, what are you doing to my cows? two, one, now! Good job. Not my cows. The cows are fine. Cows just, are fine. Just mildly traumatized. <laughs> They'll be fine. Okay, buckets are all in there. And now these signs should say cookies and milk or something. It was just something white. Ah, creep. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, it's gonna blow up. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> no. You blew up the I snowman. might have blown up the entire snowman. You did. You ruined Christmas. <laughs> no. I actually don't know how much you blew it up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. Well, we, the sleigh is attached and the snowman is finished, and there's a cookies and milk stand. That's not bad, right? Okay, the snowman actually does look really cute now. I like him. I feel like we just saved Christmas, y'all. Yes, we saved Christmas. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that rather derpy snowman and milk and cookie stand creating over in the Christmas area. And while you've been watching that, I've been busy turning my concrete powder into concrete and we are ready to get started on this project for today. So this 17 by 17 plot, oops, <laughs> is going to become my storage area. I haven't used up all the storage area in my starter base yet, but it's getting pretty close and I figure it's probably about time to make something just a little bit bigger than what I had to put all of my stuff in. Oh God, I thought I was done with this hole, but I'm not. Had to tear it wide open again to build the bottom of where the chests are going to go. I'd be curious to know how many of you plan out in advance exactly how many blocks you need for your build because I never do and sometimes it bites me in the butt but I also just have a hard time. It's just really hard for me to like I find it really boring to count the blocks out in advance which means yes sometimes I'm wrong but uh, I, I, I worry that I'd never do it at all if I actually had to stop and count in advance how many blocks of which type I needed. I don't know, maybe it's just me. If you suspect that you are not gonna have the resources that you need to finish a build, then focus on the parts that you need most to, to make it useful. In my case, since this is gonna be a storage area, I needed to make sure that I got these pits and the walls dug around so I knew where exactly the chest would go. And I can always put like the roof and such on it later. I mean, I'm in a mushroom biome, so theoretically no mobs should be spawning in here. Just checking. So here's the math for you. I have 10 rows here for chests on each side of this facility. And I plan on stacking each row five high to the top of this wall here from down there. So doing the math, that's 50 chests per side. So 50 over here, 50 over here, since it's gonna be like five, 10, 15, 20, 25. But since each chest is a double chest, that's actually 200 chests that I need to make, right? So if you have 200 chests times eight planks needed per chest, that comes out to 1,600 planks needed to make all of the chests for this facility. 1,600 planks divided by four planks made per log, that means I need 400 pieces of log to make this thing. And if I divide 400 logs by 64, which is how much you can stack them in, that means I need exactly six and a quarter stacks of logs to make the chest for this project. Math. So you see, it's not that I can't do the math, it's just I don't find it very fun on a large scale like when you have multiple different types of blocks that you need to calculate that for. So I just tend not to. 
So while I'm putting the finishing touches with the resources I have left, I am going to send you over to the last little bit I did on the Christmas area with Sev. This time we decided to make a rabbit petting zoo pen because that makes perfect sense, right? So wait, are these the rabbits over here? Yes. Aww. Hey, bunnies. <laughs> All right, now we need a place for this thing. Well, I made a road here that kind of started here, so we'll probably go through here and then connect to this. There was signs Someone in just... my base saying there was a present for me under the tree. Oh, is there now? Am I not telling yet? This is cruel and unusual punishment. I'm not allowed to open the presents yet because we all have to do that on the recording day. <laughs> For Rin, because I can warning animal inside. <laughs> Does it have an air hole at least so it can breathe? Check the top of the box. Mm hmm. Is there an air hole for it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll believe you. I'm not sure if I should believe you, but... I keep losing my train yeah. of thought. Okay, we need a petting animal pen. Wait, where'd our cows go? Oh, they're still in there. Okay, crisis averted. Cows are still in there. Should we put the petting zoo across from this, like on this side of the road? Yes. Okay. We can make it sort of kind of big. Like have a little shelter for the rabbits and then a little play pen. There we go. That sounds good. I'm just placing honey blocks everywhere. <laughs> that's cool. I'm all for giving them a big enclosure. Okay, that's it. We're done. This looks awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> Great job, everybody. The rabbits are definitely contained now. Pro Minecrafters. Pro oh, Minecraft. Computer's Minecraft. making really loud, loud noises. So annoying. <laughs> okay, this needs a roof. Hmm. I'm tempted to make it like a, a roof like Alito has, like a stable roof or something. Am I making uh, sense? Okay. Ta ta da da. Ta ta da ta da. Ta ta da da. Do you have more fences? I do not. You're gonna have to make some more. Okay. Ow. Like that. No. Absolutely not. Like <laughs> that. There. Boop. 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 Um. <laughs> Something went horribly awry here. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna be one short, that means. Dang it. What you looking at? I'm feeling very judged right now. Found another found bun bun. Oh, that's a different color. That one's fully white. We need that one too. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh no, bunny, 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 no, no, stupid, stupid. stupid. <laughs> I'm placing my blocks and I see you like trying to wrangle them in the background. <laughs> Ta-da! I think it looks pretty good, really. Good job, Sav. Look at us. I need to Look go in and those. see them though. I need to go see the bunnies. Mm. Yes, the bunnies. Hey, bunnies. <laughs> the noises. Oh, they do look so cute though. And that concludes the Christmas derpage for today. But there will be a little bit more in the next video because sadly I'm going to be missing the big Christmas recording. So my, my next video will be out after Christmas. It'll technically be past Christmas. But we will have that present from Sev to open up and I'm looking forward to that. But now it's time to show you the base progress. All right, it's not done, but we've made a pretty good attempt on it and gotten quite a bit done here. So this is the tunnel that's going to go to that little biodome. This tunnel goes to our elevator. And here is what the storage area looks like right now. It doesn't have the entire roof on it because it's going to have kind of a second floor. And I'm not going to show this thing from the outside because it, it still looks pretty bad, not going to lie. But I'm happy with where the inside is coming. And for me, this was a pretty big build, so I'm kind of proud of myself. And while I'm checking shop profits today, yee, there is just one last thing I wanted to talk to you all about. And that is that Dinnercraft is recruiting for the rest of season one and season two right now. Oof, man, getting all this loaded is kind of painful. So yeah, uh, in the description of this video, I'm going to be linking a video. Um, hi, the Grinch, okay. Um, goodbye. Um... Okay, that's a thing. <laughs> well, that completely distracted me. Where were we? Okay, um, yes. I, ooh, okay, profits. Yes, 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 and yes. Good thing I brought more with me. I have a shulker box of them here. 
So yeah, Dinnercraft is recruiting, um, accepting new members for the rest of season one, season two. In the description of this video is going to be uh, a link to a video on Severitas' channel explaining the whole process, what we're looking for, the link to the actual application form itself, the requirements, etc., etc. So if you're an adult who creates content on YouTube or Twitter, you should definitely go check that out. The invisibility did especially well. It's a good thing I got a bunch of those. No night vision, which does not surprise me. But there, we made 44 diamonds. That's pretty impressive. And that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas derpage. I hope you enjoyed the building. If you like this video, please do leave a like rating down below and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.